dear students we are going to discuss about uh, the capital allowances capital allowances also known as tax depreciation so tax depreciation is only available in case of uh, capital expenditure so for example if you have uh, incurred any capital expenditure then you can eligible for capital allowances and similarly the capital uh, allowances are available for an unincorporated business such as sole trader and partnership as well as an as well as uh, an incorporated business such as the corporations so for both individual business and corporation can claim capital allowances but capital allowances are only available on those expenditure which is been classified as per the definition of plant and machinery and land and building is not considered as plant and machinery so if an entity buy a land or a building that uh, then capital allowances are not available to be claimed on such plant uh, such capital expenditure now as far as the types of capital allowances are concerned we can classify the availability of capital allowances into three types the first type of capital allowance which is available it's called aia and that is annual investment allowance the second type of uh, capital allowance is called the wda that is written down allowance and the third type falls in the category of first year allowance fya and there are different rules regarding uh, the uh, all types then on which item of uh, 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 expenditure you can claim aia wda and first year allowance but important thing is that uh, the rates will be available in the uh, exam as uh, uh, in the form of uh, like AIA for AIA the limit is uh, one million for the tax year nineteen and twenty, and remember this one million limit is for a period of twelve months. But sometimes a period might be less than twelve months, or a period might be greater than twelve months. So if this is the case that the period is different, then this value will be time apportioned. Similarly, the WDA is available as eighteen percent per annum or six percent per annum. but as far as first year allowance is concerned a first year allowance is always available as 100% as far as motor car is concerned there are different rules regarding motor car first of all we should uh, uh, know that uh, we should be uh, new about that uh, a motor car uh, capital allowance is based on the carbon dioxide emission rate of this motor car so as far as the co is concerned co2 is concerned if the co2 rate is up to 50 g per kilometer inclusive of 50 g as well so that particular car will be eligible for a first year allowance and we have studied that first year allowances the whole amount is available for capital allowance but if the car's carbon dioxide emission rate is greater than 50 g but up to 110 g per kilometer then this car will be a part of the main pool and if the co2 exceeds above 110 g per kilometer then the resulting car will be part of the special pool item and remember that the rate of uh, wda is different the main pool item would attract a wda of 18% per annum and a special pool item always attract a wda of 6% in the previous finance act that special pool wda was 8% now in new finance act that is fa19 that rate has been reduced to 6% per annum and i uh, it, one thing important is that the car is not eligible for aia so if you purchased a motor car you have to look for the co2 and then decide in which category the car would be part of it now let's discuss the detailed rules of uh, annual investment allowance aia so as i told you that aia is available on the acquisition of plant and machinery it is not available against the use of uh, asset rather than first time on the acquisition of plant and machinery but it is not available on car so uh, other than uh, car any item of plant and machinery that will attract a uh, aia and the limit of aia is 1 million 
for the period of 12 months. But if the period is less than 12 months or a period or period of more than 12 months, that is a short period and long period, then we have to time a portion. For example, let me assume that the period is six months, then the limit would be half, that is 500,000. So the first 500,000 of the uh, amount of investment would attract a annual investment allowance. And if the period is, uh, say, suppose 18 months long, then the resulting AIA limit would be now 1.5 million. So now in this period, if any expenditure incurred and it's more than 1.5 million, so you can get first 1.5 million as AIA. An important thing is that AIA is available throughout, but if you purchased a plant in machinery in the last year of business, so in the last year of business, the AIA is not available. Now let's discuss few examples. So for example, uh, Mr. A acquired a plant on 6th April 19 at a cost of 1.5 million and the period of account is of 12 months. One important thing you should remember that the date of purchase of asset is not relevant. Rather, what is relevant is the period of account. That is 12 months, less than 12 months and more than 12 months. So in a given period of account, if one month before any item is being purchased, then full allowance is available. Now, as we have purchased a plant at a cost of 1.5 million, so the cost of the plant is 1.5 million. First, we will claim AIA up to 1 million. Then after deduction of AIA, the remaining balance left at 500,000. This will be then transferred to the pool, that is the main pool. And on main pool balance, you will calculate always the WDA, that is 18% per annum. So accordingly, 90,000 is the allowance. And after deduction of allowance, the remaining balance in the pool is 4,10,000. Now, total allowance that is uh, claimed in this year is 1 million against uh, uh, as AIA and 90,000 as WDA. So the total allowance that is available in this year is 1090000. Now, now, now just focus on the format. Uh, now let's assume that uh, uh, it's not the first year of the business and we have already a written down value brought forward of the main pool is 200,000. So in this year, we have purchased another asset at a cost of 1.5 million. Now we have to calculate capital allowances. Now we have, we will work as per the format. So first column is the main pool and the second column is the allowance column. As we go along, there will be other columns as well. So uh, up till now, we have just uh, discussed the uh, first column that is the main pool and the resulting allowance column. So first of all, I will write the opening balance available, TWDV brought forward of the main pool, that is 200,000. Now, is there any addition? Yes, there is an addition of 1.5 million. So that plant would attract a cap AIA of 1 million. So my AIA is 1 million. And that 1 million immediately transferred to the allowance column. What is uh, what I can do for the excess amount after AIA? So it will be a part of the pool. So 500,000 is transferred into the pool. And now let's identify the balance of the pool before applying the WDA. So the WDA is uh, available on the opening balance as well as the amount uh, that is transferred into the pool. So on this 700,000, the WDA is 18% because it's a part of main pool. So 700,000 into 0.18, and that is 1,26,000 further allowance in the form of WDA. So transfer this into the allowance section and then identify the closing balance of the pool. That is uh, 574,000. And this is TWDV carried forward balance at the end of the period. Now, the total allowance is uh, for this given tax year is 1 million plus 
like six twenty six thousand. So it's one one two six triple. So this is the value of tax depreciation in the available year. Another example of short accounting period. Accounting period is of six month, and we have TWD we brought forward as at first January nineteen two hundred thousand related to a main pool. We have purchased a plant on sixth April nineteen at a cost of six hundred thousand. Now the same pro forma and uh, TWDV brought forward figure is uh, two hundred thousand. Now plant costing six hundred thousand. As we know that the AIA limit is one million, but it is of twelve months. So now our AIA. Is uh, reduced to six month figure, so that is six by twelve, and this is five hundred thousand. Now this five hundred thousand is transferred to the allowance section, and the surplus is transferred to the main pool, making it three hundred thousand. And on this three hundred thousand, we will claim WDA of eighteen percent. Also remember that WDA is also per annum, so it will also affect due to short accounting period. So I have to write six by twelve. Now for three hundred thousand into point one eight and divided by two, so the WDA is also time apportioned twenty seven thousand, and in this way the total. Allowance that is claimed as five lakh twenty seven thousand is the total allowance balance. Now let's discuss the example of a long period of account. So I have assumed that my period of account is eighteen months, and we have TWD we brought forward again for the main pool two hundred thousand, and a plant has been purchased at a cost of two million. Now again a pro forma that is the Main pool and the allowance column. So TWDV brought forward figure is given as two hundred thousand. Now we have uh, addition that is plant. What is the value of the plant? That is two million. Now AIA AIA original limit is one million, but it is of twelve month. So now it's eighteen over twelve, so that becomes uh, one point five million. So in this way, allowance is increased to one point five million, and the surplus, that is five hundred thousand, goes to the main pool section. And now we have seven hundred thousand value. Now this seven hundred thousand would attract uh, the WDA. And uh, WDA is also per annum, so the WDA figure is eighteen percent. It is also now increased to eighteen divided by twelve because it's of eighteen months now. So seven hundred thousand into point one eight that is for twelve month, and uh, this is uh, twelve. So into eighteen and divided by twelve that is one eighty nine triple zero. And in this way, my allowance is one eighty nine triple zero. T W D V carry it forward figure. We find out minus one eighty nine. That is five double one triple zero. And the total of the allowance comes to be one six eight nine triple zero. Now let's talk about the issue of uh, motor car. So in this example, we have the opening balance of the pool one lakh fifty thousand. Now there is an addition of motor car one, motor car two. On the basis of the carbon dioxide rate, the motor car is eighty uh, uh, gram per kilometer, so it will be a part of main pool. And similarly, the second car is one forty gram per kilometer, more than one hundred and ten gram per kilometer. So it will be a part of a special pool item, and we have to calculate capital loss. In this example, there is no plant and machinery eligible for AIA, 
so only WDA is available. Now let's solve this example. The performer, that is the main pool. Now, as there is a car or as a special pool item, so another column added now. In the ATX exam, too much lengthy calculations are not required, but part calculation will be required in the exam. And in any exam question, anything can be asked about capital allowances. So you should need to learn each and every rule. So main pool is 1,50,000. TWDV drop forward 1,50,000. This topic is very important because it's part of uh, the sole trader partnership as well as corporation. So we have car one. 200,000. So we have a uh, car one having 80 gram per kilometer CO2 rate and the value is uh, 200,000. So it will be part of pool. And we have car two that is 140 gram per kilometer. And its cost is 300,000 transfer to the special pool. So let's uh, calculate the pool balance. And the pool balance is 3,50,000 for the main pool and 300,000 for the special pool. Now that would attract a WDA of 18% for the main pool and WDA of 6% uh, for the special pool. So on uh, main pool, we have uh, a WDA of 63,000 transfer to the allowance column immediately and uh, 18,000 on the special pool item and uh, this is the closing balances. Two lakh eighty seven thousand. and 2,82,000. This is tax written down value closing balance and uh, the total of the allowance we receive in this tax year is 81,000. So in this example I have covered the main pool car and a special pool car. Now let's talk about the next example. We have uh, main pool 50,000 we have addition of slant costing 700,000, a car having CO2 of 40 gram per kilometer. So it's a car which will get the first year allowance. Calculate the capital allowance balance. Again, a pro forma, that is the main pool and the allowance column. So I have TWDV brought forward with me of the main pool that is uh, 50,000. A plant has been purchased at a cost of uh, 700,000. It is under 1 million. So just 700,000 AIA is claimed in this year. So no amount is transferred to the main pool. And we have a car that is uh, 40 gram and uh, 100,000. So the car cost is 100,000. And uh, first year allowance is 100%. Remember that first year allowance is uh, not affected with short accounting period or long accounting period. It is always available 100%. So we have uh, 100,000 of first year allowance. Now we have the left balance of 50,000 and that would attract a WDA of 18% per annum. So it's uh, 9,000 and uh, 9,000 is also part of. So in this example, uh, all three types of capital allowances have been used. That is AIA, that is first year allowance and on the existing balance WDA. So we have uh, the total of uh, that is 809 triple zero total capital allowances and 41,000 is the closing balance.